Remember Rabi? Rabi just bought a new bike. He really loves his bike. Really, really loves it. And most of all, he can't wait to take it for a spin. He absolutely loves the way it sounds. It roars. But not everybody feels the same way about his new bike. Rabi, what are you doing? Didn't I tell you not to buy the bike? Oost, Mom, please. I'm 24. I think I know what I'm doing. Mom, you know I've always wanted to buy this. And besides, it's my baby. No, Rabi. You're my baby. I don't want a silly accident to come out of this. Whatever. Just like many of us, Rabi often has a hard time accepting the decisions of his mum. Especially when they conflict with things that he thinks he loves the most. Rabi, I want you to sell the bike today. It's not that Rabi wants to disrespect his mum, because deep down, he really loves her. I mean, he knows how much she cares about him, and how much she sacrifices for him, and he knows how much she loves him too. Rabi appreciates all that his mum does for him, but he just doesn't understand why she would want him to sell his bike, especially when it's finally his chance to impress all his mates. Inshallah bro, is this your new bike? Yeah, well, I got it today. How much you get it for? Uh, I'm not going to say, but you know, alhamdulillah, so I'm doing well. Do you want to jump on? Go for a ride? Bro, what do you reckon? Sell it to me? Nah, no way. I'll kidding? buy it off you. I'll nah. give you a good price. It's too good to be sold. Bro, your mum doesn't let you ride bikes. I know your mum, she's strict. Nah, I'll, I'll be alright. She'll eventually pull through with it. Are you sure you want to go against your mum's word, man? You got to do what you got to do. Fair enough. My brook, man. Thanks. Bro. Anyways, take it easy. Drive safe. Oh. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. To Rabi, it's just a bike. But Rabi's mum knows him better than he knows himself. She watches the news and she's seen all the nasty reports. And it's not that she's against bikes, but it's because she knows that Rabi's not ready for it. She knows that Rabi takes stupid risks sometimes. Exactly what Rabi's mom was trying to avoid. The child she once sacrificed so much for, the child she carried in her own arms, may never walk again. So, what should she say to someone who she taught how to walk, yet only ever walked away from her? Ever since the beginning, she was there for him. And now he's back to where he started. It's so easy for us to forget where we came from. But just like she loved him and cared for him, and stood by him throughout the good times and the bad, the highs and the lows, he should never forget that she will stand by him today. And just how she taught him back then, she can teach him all over again.
So what do you say to someone who only ever walked away from you? I'll always be there for you. Just remember me and be good to me like I was good to you. I will always love you. Dear Mom, may Allah have mercy on you the same way you had mercy on me. وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ حَمَلَتْهُ أُمُّهُ وَهْنًا عَلَى وَهْنٍ وَفِصَالُهُ فِي عَامَيْنِ أَنِشْكُرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيْكَ إِلَيَّ الْمَصِيرِ